to carry these fights. But on the other side, for anyone's legend, if you're saying that Weibo Gaming, there's the element of falling off, there's the element of this mid-game, uh, anyone's legend, I see Rise, I see away from the Herald, and the next couple of minutes feel like they're going to define a lot. Oh, SFM, oh. going to literally run into Forge. Define a lot, that's what I said. He's rooted down, absconded, abducted, and Forge with the ulti out, stolen Realm Warp as he dies. Angel now has the ult and the pride after first blood goes to SOFM. Yeah, I mean, you can even see it here. Angel's starting to move in. They're looking for us. You don't get time, do you? Well, he's going to get locked down. The piercing darkness comes through, but Chocho trying to escape in time. The Ignite ticks him over. The Xiao Hao with a re-engage, but Angel's still here. He's a level 11 Silas with reset city thanks to the blue buff. It's still the kill for Weibo Gaming. It's their second one of the key force, and maybe a dead Jax on the way as he hovers in the outskirts of Vision and ZDZ is about to get a warm surprise as Counter-Strike's used, and that might be the go button. SOFM now in the perfect place, the perfect time, and the perfect heartbreaker with the perfect rhyme here for Weibo Gaming's third kill, and again, a great game from SOFM to start off the series. Yeah, anyone's legend, they try to push in mid, but they just don't really have the numbers advantage they need. Rift Herald is here for Shoho, and he will plonk it down, but Weibo's starting to collapse. SOFM is coming from the top He's side. stolen again, the Crescent Guard stolen from Angel. Damage not burning here from Betty, it's a perfect counter as On gets into the back line against three people. On actually gets stunned up, so does Angel as the knock up from Chocho, perfect. On only just surviving, and now for Betty and Forge trying to trail this one up. Uh, no bueno here from anyone's legend. The shy, but he has just exhausted himself, so not going to be too much of a threat if he decides to. And now we just got to see how anyone's legend want to approach this. They're trying for the poke here. It's relying on Betty here. You mentioned the Umbral Glaive, so the damage is significant enough. It's SOFM frontlining here at level 11 TP into the backside. The shy joining in. There is no ZDZ down the line with the center ult. He's great, but Betty is being burnt to a crisp. And the Shy deals the damaging blow as now ZDZ's here, but is it too late? Well, Angel dying might be a no as On is trying to escape himself. Gets out with the help of Juan Fong as a reset enabled for SOFM. A level 11 Viego who's feeling a little bit spicy. A good eat up here from Chocho, but anyone's legend now trying to turn it back as SOFM gets the smite. Heals up the stun here. The messy play, the Shy's still alive. And at the end, Weibo Gaming are the only ones that matter. And it was so in the back of his mind as Forge now joins in. Double TP from anyone's legend. Dag, we're starting to ramp this game up, and I like that AL are still trying to fight it out. Again, though, on does burn his flash, but you get both TPs out of anyone's legend, which makes a great oh, Betty. Betty. Where are you going? He doesn't have a Tom Kench near him. He's isolated. And the 80 carry of anyone's legend may have just thrown this one into the water. Their defense gets harder from now, and as Weibo continue heading on forward, five versus four for the next 25 seconds, thanks to Betty's blunder. But why worry about that when you can just go over towards the Baron? You do have to be careful, though, because there is a minute until this dragon. So Weibo committing towards this Baron will mean they won't be in a position to contest for this dragon in just a minute's time. Anyone's legend now trying to move into position to see if they can force Weibo away. But I'd be scared because the Shy is over the wall with the Mega Narbar stacking. They see him with the Boomerang throw. This is about to evolve. The slow, the walk-in... I mean, I would not approach this if I'm anyone's legend, but as Baron continues to be super slow, Weber Gaming giving them a bit of time as Angel is still moving forward as well. The two-man ulti is easily done. The Shy on the top side dealing with two members. Well, Weber Gaming have numbers advantage, but Xiao Hao getting flashed over, taken out, and Forge may get the response kill, but AL are still outnumbered here as the collection from Wan Fong begins. The on three-man knockup. Weibo Gaming in spring and summer have been known as great team fighters, and that narrative remains held true. Uh, anyone's legend, you know, what do you do? You gotta throw everything against the wall. They're losing their base rapidly, and as they get both inhibitor turrets down, the third one on the top side, too, inhibitors now exposed. One Fong with the Gale Force board, Betty gets crushed under the Jin auto as now here comes a curtain call. But for anyone's legend, we knew the show was over. About 10 minutes or so ago, Weber Gaming now heading on in, Dagda. The waves at their fingertips, and with five members this strong, anyone's legend is just trying to survive. I don't know if the Kaido Shao goes in. Yeah, okay, we do get the Dawning Shadow. Shao Hao survives for a little bit longer as Weber Gaming take a heavy chunk, but the Shy is untouched on the side. On darting away as Fun Fong still pokes from at range, but the Shy is such a nuisance. Not even a Megana. He's just autoing for the win. Look at him dance around. And Chocho and Betty have to escape. Nah heads back to the turret. The Shy's gonna go Mega again. A really concentrated game up in that top side. It's Megan up, back on in. 
The Shy giving out those vibes once again as Weibo Gaming send us to a 29 minute victory in game one. The Shy destroyed this game. Absolutely take it over. But gotta be said, just really solid game across the board here from Weibo on consistently roaming towards the mid lane to put pressure onto Forge. SOFM reading the plays coming through from anyone's legend.